Welcome back. 40 minutes almost past the hour. Iran issuing new threats that it started from cruise missiles capable of sinking large warships. The country also says it will move Navy ships closer to U.S. shores. Joining us right now is Nathan Carlton. He's the press director at United Against Nuclear Iran. He also served on the National Security Council under President George W. Bush and used to work with our, our Tony Snow. Yes. Who yes. Uh, we loved here. He was a wonderful colleague of ours. Really was. Uh, welcome. Thanks for being here today. No problem. So, Iran, no stranger to saber rattling. Ahmadinejad's always throwing out these fiery rhetoric. Is there, is there, do they have the goods to back it up? Is that, is it just saber rattling right now? Uh, right now, it, I think it is just saber rattling. Uh, Iran's navy is very small. I doubt the U.S. military is losing much sleep over this. But what it shows is that this is a regime whose foreign policy is based on confrontation and threat. And what would make this a, a very serious matter is if Iran were to succeed in its quest for developing nuclear weapons, then this would be extremely serious. And that's why the world needs to do whatever it takes to prevent Iran from going nuclear. There's constantly, once again, saber rattling from Iran on mm -hmm. that subject as far as, you know, whether or not they do have them or not. What's, give us this, the latest update on that situation there. Well, you hear different estimates, maybe maybe one year, maybe three years, what, whatever is right, they're close. And so the world needs to do whatever it takes because that, that would be the worst option of, of anything is having a, a country that works with terrorists and threatens the U.S. and its allies having nuclear weapons. You mentioned our, our military not really feeling like this threat of having these Navy ships from Iran basically up there along um, a sea presence along the Marine border with the East Coast. Um, not, not really... A, a concern for our military and actually Pentagon press secretary George Little said um, you know I wouldn't read too much into what came out of Iran today what is said what is actually done can be two different things um, so so folks who live on the East Coast hearing about this yeah. might be a little nervous about it tell us why this shouldn't be an issue I mean they're well, talking about having cruise missiles as well 124 miles they can travel well, like, blow up a US warship right like me I'm sure you trust the US military to protect the nation from threats whether they're trust them a little bit more than I trust uh, Iran. see the air the ground but it's very scary that a country that would threaten this which is like I said, called for our destruction and which is allied with terrorists, including even Al Qaeda, uh, would, would be saying things like this while it's trying to develop an, a nuclear weapon. Uh, we just can't let that happen. Iran, does Iran want to be known as a superpower? They obviously want to. Uh, they maybe uh, they'd be closer if they had nuclear weapons. Uh, they're losing power in the in the Middle East. Maybe they're jealous of Turkey these days from what's what's happening in their neighboring countries, but like I said, the, the worst thing that could happen is if they succeed in their quest for nuclear weapons. In your estimation, is the United States, uh, you know, is, is the world doing enough to ensure that they don't succeed in those aspirations? Well, it's not doing enough. The sanctions against Iran that the U.S. and its allies have have imposed have have been effective, but more more can be done. Like what, for instance? Well, 90 senators recently called on the Obama administration to sanction the Central Bank of Iran. I, I think they should do that right away. Uh, other well, we countries. Always hear, we always hear sanctions don't work. We always, sanctions right. don't work. They haven't done anything. They they end up saying ah to the sanctions right. anyway. Even even Iran has said the sanctions work, but they need to be tougher. Some of the U.S.'s allies need yeah, to get tougher. But we don't believe tougher. what Iran says, do we? <laughs> no. Well, they, they are working. Uh, maybe it's the people of Iran that are suffering more than the regime. But if some of the U.S.'s allies in, in Europe were to crack down more on their companies, some of these European companies are doing business in Iran. And if those governments, like the U.S. has done, would, would bar that, say that a company in this country cannot do business in Iran, they they would be tougher and maybe Iran would see that it's in its interest to change course. Nathan Carlton, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. No problem. Please join us. Sure. All right, let's go out to Dave and Clayton. They are down in the control room.